Hello, hello everyone. My name is Yanni. I'm the co-founder of Eagle MMS, and today we're going to be doing a case study on a 22 Dodge Ram. Now, this thing got hit in the bedside corner pretty hard. The bedside's toast. Um, I believe the tailgate was replaced as well as the uh, bumper, but this is chrome, so we're not really worried about paint materials. And there was some damage to the inner wheelhouse and inner structural parts of the uh, box assembly. Now, if we take a look at the um, estimate here, I have the estimate totals, and you know, could there have been a few more things written for? Absolutely, uh, especially in the way of refinish hours. Um, we got 12.1 refinish hours at a rate of $35 per hour, puts our grand total at 423 for paint materials. Um, so just some interesting numbers before we begin uh, our own invoice and we itemize for everything comprehensively on the job. I'm just going to go through the RMC version of this. So if you plug in those refinish hours on RMC, you get about 700 bucks, which is more within the line of fluids. And if you actually look at the touch mix um, invoice that came off of this shop scale, you're at 708. So RMC and live fluids are, are pretty close to each other. We're now going to run this through Eagle and get not just the fluids, uh, but the, the non-fluid paint materials as well as all the body materials to see exactly how much this shop is leaving on the table. So um, let's log in here. I'm going to select um, my PPG demo account because this is most similar to this shop's uh, inventory um, for paint line, allied, other stuff like that. I'm going to create a new RO. This is our case study. Then uh, this is a 22 Ram 1500. And the paint code is PSC. It's uh, one of Chrysler's, I'm going to say, floppier colors. <laughs> so we're definitely going to need some spray out cards. And this is a four door pickup. So I have my diagram here. I'm going to select for a new bedside, a new tailgate, exactly as written on the estimate. And uh, I'm also going to select my my um, my jams and gutters around the bedside because I think they refinished inside. They also refinished one of the hinges and we're definitely going to need some spray outs. Like I said, this is one of the um, more floppy colors by Chrysler. I think they have a couple different variants. For operation kits, I'm only going to select a bedside replacement. So I'll open up this kit and take a look at the mapping. Uh, easy coats. Uh, well, I'm going to remove chip guard. I don't think that's applicable in this case. Panel bond for around the wheelhouse. That looks good to me. And I'm going to do epoxy panel backsides because we are going to be epoxying the backsides of these panels. No hardware, no additional checkouts, no markup. If I hit apply, I'm going to be at 921. This is my grant. Ooh. What's going on here? Oh, sorry, no, 1220 is my grand total. I couldn't see it because my icon's in the way here. So 921 on paint materials, 298 on body materials, 1220, uh, excuse me, 1220 total. Uh, and just the fluids here, I think this also adds up to about $700. That's just the fluids component. In fact, I could filter for paint fluids only. I'm at 701.64. So the fluids only, the RMC and the live pour are literally within dollars of each other, single dollars of each other. That's the level of accuracy of this system. Uh, but of course, you, I don't know why the collision industry only focuses on fluids. There's a lot more stuff that goes into vehicle repair that costs money. Not accommodating for those materials, not getting paid for them is at a, a, a not a benefit to us. And it's, it's certainly not a benefit to the consumer if those things don't actually get applied to their vehicle. So we're gonna open this back up. So we got our full invoice, estimated paint materials with the non-sprayables is 921. Um, and then body materials is 298. Now I do also have the uh, the touch mix PDF for this job. So I can actually import from PPG Paint Manager and pull in that live pour. It'll parse all that data for me. Yes, do I wanna replace? And now we are at, go back to full invoice. We're at 1227. 
So Eagle was uh, $7 under actually what the live pour actually was. So we now in, in place of those estimated volumes based on the surface area selections, we have the live pour from the scale. All of our non-fluid paint materials are still the same. All of our body materials are still the same. So really at list price, job costing this is uh, $12.27. If they had relied only on PNM rate pay, they would have been at 423 plus some marginal additions let's say there's a hundred dollars here of dollar amounts on line items so call it 500 bucks maybe 550 bucks that would have been a 700 dollars loss with just rate pay and even if you used something like uh rmc 700 bucks this does accommodate pretty accurately for fluids but there's just so much more that goes into vehicle repair nowadays besides stuff that comes out of the tip of a gun uh, so this would have still been at a uh, roughly $500 loss. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically it. That's how easy it is to write invoices. So I have two versions. I have one with estimate volumes that Eagle estimated. That's kind of my, my paint guide. And then I have one where I have the actual live sprayables and, and what those uh, actually cost when injected into the estimate. So that's this case study. That's it. That's the benefits of itemization over rate pay. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at eaglemms.com and hit attend webinar in the bottom right. We run uh, public uh, demos every Tuesday at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. So thank you. Bye.